are some uh, some risks in wrestling and one of them being uh, what weight loss does to our body um, certainly good physical condition and a good body weight uh, is uh, is healthy for us but there are uh, some situations uh, in wrestling where wrestlers will uh, sometimes cut more weight than we would feel is healthy and uh, there's really a couple different issues one is cutting weight rapidly by severe calorie restriction um, that sometimes backfires because when we restrict calories our body has to get energy from somewhere and the, the place we start to get energy from is through the metabolism of our muscle. And so uh, in some cases, if wrestlers are uh, cutting a large amount of weight in a limited amount of time, uh, we sometimes end up lo losing muscle mass, which is of course detrimental to good performance in wrestling. You know, back when we used a sauna and plastic suits to get water weight off. Um, uh, I, I can recall a couple occasions where we had wrestlers with uh, with very significant tetany where the muscles tighten up and, uh, and yeah. contract and, and then they can't function. Mm -hmm. We pulled back in uh, from the Pizza Hut run, and uh, we started doing we started running sprints across the uh, the field house. And I next thing I remember is trying to get up the ramp and collapsing. I couldn't even walk up the ramp. And that's when uh, Connor Bromit came up behind me and tried to lift me up, get me up the ramp, trying to, trying to get me to keep on going, but I just couldn't. I had it took a couple of guys to help me get to get me up there, and. Uh, I had to go to the bathroom because I felt like I was about to shit myself. And uh, I got in there and sat on the toilet. But by the time I did, uh, I sat there. I was able to manage to close the door. And uh, Coach Boyer came in there with me to make sure I was okay. But I sat in there. And uh, I remember it was getting really difficult to breathe. And my whole body started tensing up like a full body cramp the point where I was in a fetal position, not sitting on the toilet to the ambulance, and I'm sticking three or four needles in me just to try to pump me with different fluids. And uh, Irwin rode with me in the ambulance down to the hospital, and uh, while I was there, the nurse was trying to get all of my information, like my name and social security, but I couldn't remember any of it. I didn't even really remember exactly what happened until, hell, maybe a week later, exactly what, the, what happened to me. Every year we always have athletes that struggle and have problems. Losing weight isn't easy. It's not an easy thing to do. It can be stressful. Always hungry, grouchy. You can always tell when a guy's really losing weight. That weight class, um, they're only allowed to lose about two pounds per week. If you lose more than 3% of your body weight, um, your body really starts shutting down. You can get body cramps on your heart. Your heart is essentially a muscle. And supposed to. It's very dangerous. On average, most wrestlers will cut a challenging amount of weight at some point in their career. As the sport continues to grow, more and more coaches and trainers are becoming better at stressing the importance of a proper weight cut plan. While proper nutrition is obviously worth noting, wrestlers should strive to avoid dehydration at all costs. However, whether or not wrestlers cut weight properly is a choice they must make on their own.